Maya Pan, Maya Pan, we are at the Maya Pan ruins. Right. So we're trying to find an ATM, automatic teller machine. It's going to tell you whether or not we have enough money to get into the Maya Pan ruins because we're a little low, but according to online, we'll be getting in or not. We'll be right back with you going to the ATM, but we're going to the Maya Pan ruins, a lesser known ruin and come along with us. Hey. <laughs> Bye. But what is that number? I don't know. I don't know if that number. Na 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 So we are learning about the Mayans. This is um, part of the walled city of Mayapan, which was founded during the second half of the 8th century. Wow. And covers an area of four square kilometers. Um, it has approximately 4,000 structures, and the Mayapan population reached about 12,000 inhabitants. So this is going to be pretty cool. It's like a very tiny city. Its name means banner of the Mayans. During the post-classic period, Mayapan was considered the most important center of Mayan civilization. Thus, it was frequently cited in Mayan literature as well as in Spanish sources. During the post-classic period, this great Mayan capital reached great splendor and exercised dominion over the northeastern and central northern provinces of the Yucatan Peninsula. The majesty of this site is evidenced by great buildings such as Cucucans, Cucucans, Kukikens, that's a hard one, tongue twister, castle. Constructive influence from the Chichen Itza are apparent, although building proportions in Mayapan are smaller, as in this, the case of the castle. In the central plaza, buildings serve civic administration and religious purposes, as well as providing residence for the site's governing class. These buildings were constructed over foundations with corridors and columns. They formed temples whose interiors had altered towards the back and benches to the side. Smaller shrines and round shaped buildings known as observatories are also representative of the site's architecture. Mayapan's residential zone is mainly concentrated in the southeast section of the civic center. Sin what is it? Ratios of, du is that right? Mm. You think? Yeah, Ratios of dwellings are bordered by walls locally known as albaradas or defensive walls. So the people lived on the outside, they governed on the inside, and there was a castle. So that's interesting. I didn't realize there were a castle. Did you guys realize my inside castle? No. No, me neither. So Let's something to keep in mind, kids, we're going to be going to Chichen Itza later. So oh, this was, yeah. that's another Mayan archaeological site. So this one is supposed to have similar buildings and um, but smaller proportions. And this so, one looks like this was it was the um, it said it was the center of everything at one point. So where's that of my the most important center of Mayan civilization. And most people don't travel to this one, right? Correct. So that's yeah. really interesting in itself. All right, let's check it out. Let's go. Okay. Guys, look how tall this doorway is. Remember how we were saying that Mayans were shorter? They were probably, I'm going to guess, about my size. Mayans were Amanda's height. Because... Like when they were like fully grown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when will you be fully grown, Amanda? We should get a pet bot and then a pet bot and then we can give it a shot. <laughs> and then we can have it as a pet. <laughs> not sure what about you, Batman? Well, maybe. Uh, we should crazy. probably leave them alone. We're sweeping. Yeah. We yeah, like true. to have people just like looking, staring at you, taking pictures of you while you're sweeping. That's what parents do. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <true. laughs> That's what parents do. I've seen you post pictures of me at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, never. And we don't like so it. How crazy is this that these stones were touched? by hands from over 800 years ago and look inside you can see where there are some fossils of seashells so that's actually fossilized so if you think this was built the 1200s the 1400s and then this stone the it used to be a seabed here at one time can you see Ryder? can you see the shells 
the show ends. So, don't worry about it. I can get that one easy. You just come down. I can get it easier going up. Okay. Muy bien. Amanda's back safe. All right. There's one. You got it, Ellie. Come on, baby. Focus. Come on. I take your hat. Your yeah, I wish you would. There's the guy. Omar. No, that's a different dude. He came up a different side. Ow. I think. Sure. Is he that come up, uh, Keep coming, buddy. Come on. No, wait. Let's see him not safe on that side. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Do it. Yay. So, media money? thoughts. What y'all think yeah, about that? I'm going later. to. Yeah. It's like Charlie said when we were about halfway down. She said, "I regret coming up here." What did you think, Charlie? It was nice. I guess the view was nice. Would well, you yeah. do it again? Not with my siblings. No, because I don't want y'all to die. <laughs> Would you do it again, Mom? Uh, not with my children. <laughs> would you recommend doing it with children? No, I would not recommend doing it with children. Only because coming down feels way scarier than going up. And I, Charlie said, remember you were like, I feel like I'm shaking. I was shaking when you said that because I was looking up at you guys and I was like, this was a mistake. Uh, it was awful watching it. I actually wanted to vomit. I'm not kidding. I'm like, I'm gonna, I just need to throw up. This is awful to see. Did you go throw up in a corner? <laughs> no, I said, I when we went up and we was like, where is, where is daddy? And I was like, I think he couldn't stand to walk. Go. See, because you faced all the danger, made it to the top of the pyramid, and it wasn't until you were on land that you hurt yourself. So I found it humorous in a good way. Like, whew, thank God she hurts herself now. I don't know. My bad. Ryder and I had a rough time watching. That was terrifying. Now we're going to do it with Ryder on my head. Here we go. All right, so I made it to the top of the Maya Pan ruins. It's absolutely stunning. You can see for miles, you can see all the different Mayan structures. It was not bad coming up, but I think going down is gonna be absolutely terrifying because I just watched the kids and Amanda go down and it was so scary to watch them go down, but they were super brave and did great. But it's stunning. I think that's one of the best things about this ruin is that you can still climb to the top. A lot of the others in Mexico don't allow that anymore, but this one does. So if you're here, come check this place out. I mean, it was 45 pesos for the adults, so it came out to 90 pesos. The niños were free. So you're talking, I don't know, just over $4 to enter this just stunning, amazing wonder. I'm gonna go take it in and enjoy. All right, so it's definitely an experience coming down. It's definitely terrifying. I would rather do it myself than watch the girls and Amanda. Just trying not to look down. And to keep three points of contact, but it's amazing at the top, absolute beautiful view. I think if you can do this one time in your life, absolutely do it. So I'm getting off this thing and I'm gonna get down safely. See you at the bottom. All right, so this place is great. I'm just gonna walk around the grounds and then we're gonna head out. The kids are ready to go, but just a neat experience. <laughs> I don't know, I'm tickled, this is neat.
All right, so right behind me, you can see a dry cenote. Um, and so these were very, I guess, spiritual to the Mayans. A lot of times they would do human sacrifices and then they would put the bodies into the cenote. So this one has dried, um, but it's right next to the huge temple that we just climbed up. All right, guys, so we just got done at Mayapan Ruins for, um, anyway, to check it out. It was super cool. It's one of the last ruins that you can still climb on, which Ryan said was the main reason he wanted us to go here. But as soon as the kids and I started climbing, he said, I wish I would not have brought them here because it's one of the last few ones you can climb. Yeah. And it was terrifying. And it really was. But we had a blast. I you didn't, but you climbed up a few other things. Yeah, you did. It was very fun. It was very fun. It was really, really cool, um, but hot. We are hot, 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 because we went in the middle of the day. I don't suggest that, but this is a great one. Two run. hours, two hours. It takes two it hours. It took two hours. So it was really hot, but we spent two hours there, and I think that was plenty of time to see everything, climb up, climb down, really cool. Um, and kids were free and it was only 45 pesos for adults. Which is four dollars and like seven cents to see something amazing. Yeah, yeah, so Worth cool. 50 bucks. Yeah, it was really, really cool. The kids really liked it, right? What'd you guys think? Good. Good, except when it's ending and you're really hot. We're hot. So where are we going right now, kids? Oxo. Oxo. Oxo is a, a, a Mexican yeah. gas station. Yeah. yeah, and it's delicious, like 7-Eleven. But that's all we got, because we are hot. We are hot, we gotta turn on the AC and get yes. out of here. so come to Maya Pan. Hey guys, if you like full-time traveling families, you wanna see our adventures, which have gone from the US to Thailand, Malaysia. to Malaysia, locked down there, to the US, now to Mexico, and next to, we'll tell you later. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to follow our journeys. We love you, you're gonna love it. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye